the classic hedge fund model, right? Is the guy who has good hunches and he's got good intel and good research. And with a mix of stuff that is semi-insider trading. Right, and, right. He slams the phone down, right? And runs to his laptop, his desktop. Right. And says, yeah. I've analyzed, you know, the stock of uh, Pacific Bell and it's a great company and it's going to rock it up next week. Right. Because I have photos of the Walmart parking lots, right? Stuff like that. <laughs> but what people don't realize is most hedge funds nowadays are not like that. They are quantitative funds, meaning that they are run by computers using fancy and very complicated algorithms. And my friend's fund, what it does is it looks for tiny price discrepancies. Uh, people think about there's only a few stock exchanges, but the reality is there are a lot of different exchanges that power the NASDAQ and power the New York Stock Exchanges. These are clearinghouses and places where trades are executed. And one of them might have a share of GameStop at $6.32 and the other one might have it at $6.31 and a half cents. And if you can quickly have a computer buy the one that's at $6.31 and a half cents and then sell it on the other one at the same time for $6.32, and cents, you will make millions or billions over the course of a year. These are similar to the folks that do this with um, currency exchanges, right? Precisely. They, and, they very, go ahead. Go ahead, Mike. Well, and, and to let people know how competitive this world is, because I, I want people to really understand that this is not about skill. It is not about uh, having connections or analyzing stocks. It's about computing power. Mm 